Git Stash is a very convenient feature of Git in which allows you to store your index and your work tree into a special area known as the stash. And then later on to be able to pop off those changes and reapply them to your work tree slash index. But what is the stash? Well, it's a data structure that is a stack. So every single time you have a change to your index slash work tree and you want to save it for later, when you call git stash, it actually creates something that's like a commit and adds it to this data structure, pushes it onto the stash stack. Any files that were not a part of your index slash the work tree will simply be ignored. When you call git stash pop, it's actually gonna take the last thing that you added to the stash and apply it to your current work tree slash index. That means if you stash three changes, A, B, then C, if you pop something off, you'll be popping off C. Then the next time you pop off, it will be B. Then the final time you pop off, it will be A. If you're unfamiliar with a stack, it's actually pretty simple. Think of a stack of plates. If I add a plate, then add a plate, then add a plate. If I wish to remove a plate, I would never try to grab from the bottom. I would just grab one from the top, then the next one, then the next one. Whatever order you put in is the reverse order of what you take out. In other words, it's a last in, first out data structure. You can inspect your git stash by simply executing git stash list, which will show you in the order in which you pop out your stashes. Often I use the stash in a very one dimensional way. I have some changes that I need to pull in from main. So I'm gonna stash my current changes, pull them in, pop off my current changes and continue on my work. I never use the stash as like a long-term storage place just because my code changes so fast that it often gets out of date super quick. 